What's going on guys, it's your boy Blazonary here and today in this vlog I'm going to tell you a little bit about my new roommate Max because well, I have a roommate now and if you guys didn't see we rearranged my entire office in my last room tour video because you know I have some extra hands around the house. And a big undertaking from the previous vlog that we didn't talk too much about is getting my new gaming PC. So we're going to take this behemoth out of the box and we're going to place it somewhere in here and I'm going to have my Pokemon live streaming set up. The pre-built PC that I got in my last vlog is a GTX 3070 pre-built setup and I'll be making a separate video talking about putting in this graphics card right here in a video called I tried mining cryptocurrency for a week because I have tried it for a week and I have some interesting results that I want to share with you in a separate video. Let's get this turned on and see if it works. I decided to take off the monitor that was right here. I really like being able to see the computer. I haven't seen it low key in well, ever really, because it's always been blocked by monitors. Yes, we got the colored lights back. Okay, she's just turned on now. And it's starting up. Let's go. Let's get this plugged in and let's get our first Pokemon test stream going. All right, so if we walk this way, uh, guys, I want to introduce you to my man Max, ultimate Halo player. Loki is right, really up, good guys? at Halo. I'm so jealous right now. Dude, I miss these. We have a business call right now, so if the light changes in 30 minutes, I'm sorry. Business call was fantastic. Max, are you ready to go review your secret collection? This has been my unoccupied guest room. Nobody has lived in it before. Uh, there's just been people that have come in and out and stayed. Max has decided to take me up on the offer of, you know, being a roommate yep. for the next couple months. Get a little work done in New York. And we got a fire sneaker collection here, and we want to go ahead and showcase some of the pairs. You got yourself that little table right there. I mean, yep. dude, that setup? Yep. What's going on here? Alright, so we got a 3080 on top, and we got a 3070 on bottom. It's super hot, so you should probably take the glass off pretty soon. Any noteworthy pieces from the collection? Uh, just a backpack. Supreme backpack, mountain. This one's my favorite, one of my favorites. Ouch. Doesn't have a water bottle pouch, doesn't have any pockets, it's just kind of... <laughs> it looks cool though. And the orange one. Super useful. That's my favorite, super useful, and that's what I use on campus at Clemson. Something light, Ultra Boost. Would you get those for like 300? I paid like 400 like on release day. Yeah. I felt bad doing it, but looking back is a great decision. I wear these as much as I can. Great with the backpack too. I mean, these are my favorite purely because of the leather and a lot of people use these as like a reference point for like comparing quality. Like, oh, that's shattered yep. backboard leather. That's a top tier quality shoe. This and is one totally of their, it. the most butter soft feeling of leather on an Air Jordan 1 in the last decade, I would say. Do you like these? Do you wear these at all? Uh, I haven't broken these out yet i've had the white ones I've had the black ones the units yes the units they're a big deal i've been waiting for these i think i might have slept in you could probably get them close for retail yeah like, right shopping. now at this point yep. weren't these a sample at one point yes that's how it came to be yes and now the samples are destroyed in value these i've been waiting for these i wanted the sevens to come out now nah, these are dope bro what are those these are an interesting one they were, they were a 35 dollar pickup on ebay very nice and easy Okay, I like the quilt. Looks like a car seat interior. Another one of my favorites in your collection that you have is your Fear 3. This is a shoe that not a lot of people even know about. These probably won't be getting a re-release anytime soon. I mean, you can guess why it's my favorite pair. Uh, because of the orange and gray. Oh, exactly. I mean, the best one that's got the orange is probably these. Kobe 9 Low Multicolor. Yes. One of the best releases. Nike ID. Yeah. I have my own pair too. You, I know the vibe. I mean, the Prestos are also great daily wear. Amazing daily wear. This right here also resembles the Air Forces that we just reviewed, the Experimentals. Uh, they look very similar with that exposed padding right there. Virgil was like, okay, here Nike, you're allowed to use my padding now. We're we gonna talk about one of the best and something that I bring up all the time. Like this is the video that a lot of people know you by. The bespoke video. Yep, these were fun to make. These were really fun to make and they came out. I personally think they both came out amazing. I prefer my pair, some people prefer G's pair, but. I couldn't even tell the tie difference, but I feel like because people favored the Air Forces over the Air Max like as a model as a whole. Well, that I think that was it. And it was just like the colors I used. And with these right here, this is definitely resembling Max's style. Doing his own engraving with the backwards Max swoosh, I think is really nice. 
and he also has his max right up there with the Nike. The choice of using no swoosh was also a, yeah, an I interesting statement. Yeah, I thought that statement. was a really cool that we were even able to do that. So I was like, oh, of course I'm gonna get it without it. And then you got one with it, which is really nice. And then your flipped denim on these as well. Yeah, so show them the back. Because as you guys can see, you can use the reverse side of the denim and the uh, indigo side. Word on the street says the bespoke program is canceled for good. Theoretically, bespoke pairs could rise in value. These are custom elements that you won't be able to recreate anywhere essentially mm -hmm. they're their own one-of-one one samples by yep. us so on today's episode we have a crazy package sent out by the friends over at Mattel haven't even opened it and this thing comes out on May 21st make sure you guys check it out right here we have the Hot Wheels RC and Cybertruck car with this is actually crazy there's even a little ATV in the back of it so we're gonna take this out it goes faster than 10 miles an hour and I want to take this thing to Central Park yo this thing is wild with with the little quad? So we came to Central Park because we wanted to test out the Cybertruck to its full extent, launch it. Alright guys, so we came to Central Park right now. I wanted to show you the Cybertruck in action. This thing is incredible. It looks exactly like the Cybertruck they unveiled. The little quad is dope too. And I want to see how fast this can go. Cyber truck right here. I like it. It's very innovative. I started crashing it into the sidewalks, but as I started getting the hang of it, a lot of people seemed to notice it was not only the Cybertruck, but they were asking me when and where it comes out. And I think it's really cool that Hot Wheels has the capability to make such a really cool vehicle like this, and they pay a lot of attention to the detail, like the light bars. It's a really quality RC, and it really stands out nicely. Love this thing. This thing is sick. I mean, I saw you crash the <laughs> No, we'll leave that one in. No, I'm not qualified yet. It's actually, a, it's a product that Mattel's coming out with in the next couple days. My review of the Cybertruck, solid 10 out of 10. And I want to thank the Mattel Creations Lab and Hot Wheels for sending this over. You guys can get your own on May 21st when this thing drops. Yo, guys, and tonight we're going to be going live on my Pokemon channel doing a $20,000 Pokemon live break. So you don't want to miss out. Link in the description below to check that out.